Hello and welcome to Leander98 channel. Today we're going over something that I'd like to see in either Dreams or Little Big Planet 4. Now, Little Big Planet 4, I don't think was officially teased. Now you might have seen some April Fool's videos on YouTube, <coughs> partially probably from Ep Ep El Epic LBP time, I believe he did that. At least, yeah, I'm sure. And then someone else did, but it wasn't on April Fool's Day. However. Even though Little Big Planet 4 might not be a possibility, however, Media Molecule's dreams definitely is, and getting closer to reality. However, that doesn't stop people from wanting to make a wish list. And here, I've compiled at least one thing just for a specific video topic, just so then I don't manage to go off in different directions. Now, the only time I'm going to do go off in directions is mention that month three of the dealership is out. Okay, it's out. It's got a pretty crappy trailer. I put it together in 15 minutes. But anyway, let's get back to this. Now, what is this exactly? Now, th this topic is going to be on blocks and attributes. Okay, so what's a block? Well, the Supra here, we're going to call this a block. Now, if you are familiar with Autodesk AutoCAD or any form of that, you might know what a block is. <clears throat> or wish you might make some blocks. Now, if... Okay, so this super is a block. Now, what if it so-called wasn't a block? Okay, so that would mean that this super right here, if it was not a block, would have just been freshly made. Now, what does that mean? Now, if I go to my papa here and I got my objects, every single one of these cars would be referred to as a block because it is a saved shape that does not need to be completely recreated from scratch every single time I want one. It is a pre-saved object. And that would be the block for this, whereas a block in AutoCAD could be just simply a complex drawing, like, let's see, if I were to draw, let's see, let's say I'm doing a floor plan for a house and I drew a bathtub. Well, every time there's a bathtub in the house, I don't want to redraw a bathtub, especially if it's going to be the exact same bathtub. So I'll make that bathtub a block, and so then I can just reuse it. Now, <coughs> how about attributes? Well, within that block, you can change things about it. Referring back to the bathtub, what if so there was place in the master bathroom, and that bathtub was the same model, except it was longer. You know, someone like me, who's 6'5", and needs a long bathtub if he wants to take a bath, even though I mostly do showers. Well, instead of recreating that entire bathtub, you could make an attribute within that block to make it longer. Okay, so how do attributes contain to the car? The Supra, I mean. Easily. I mean, heck, this car could possibly have a hundred attributes. But I got at least five here. Now, if you've been watching the live stream of me doing a customization of this where I can put multiple parts on the car, then yeah, you know what I'm getting at. Well, maybe not so much, at least in these words, but I'll show you. So, another thing I'd also like is an attribute table. Because within the attributes of the super right here, I have to go within the microchip to change all these attributes. Or I could at least do that using the controller here within because I made logic for that. However, one thing I would like would be an attribute table. So let's say if I wanted this car to be green. So let's see. If I want it to be green, I gotta re- actually no, let's make it orange. No, it's already red. Let's make it purple. We're gonna make it purple. So in order to make this purple, I need to mix red and blue. Not much green, I can drop that a little. <coughs> Basically, the green is just there for a whitening effect to lower the saturation. Because if it's just 100, 0, 100, it's going to be at full saturation. However, if I have the numbers closer and closer to 100, that decreases the saturation. But that's another topic for another day. However, what we're going to do to make this purple is we're going to have 80% red, 20% green, and 80% blue. So let's work on that. So let's see, we're gonna come right here. Alrighty. Now if I remember how to get 
to the attributes. There we go. Paint control. Red. And I'm pretty sure I can drop it like that. Yes. Bring it up to 80. Okay. So let's go to green. We're going to drop this down to 20. Whoops. And blue. I'm going to bring this up to 80. That's a very bright purple. If I can come on, come on, come on. Sweet mother. There. So there we go. I changed my attributes. Now we got 80, 20, 80. Now, what would be super nice about Little Big Planet is if there was, let's just say. Because within AutoCAD, you could do this. Within the attributes, you can make an attribute table attribute. So basically, it would just be within the block. If I were to bring my poppet over it, I could bring up. There would be, at least in AutoCAD, there would be a little triangle here. And then I could press square to tweak it. And it would bring up this, except it would probably be blue. Like the actual poppet over there. Let's see. Let's make that happen. It would look more like this for me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, a little darker. There. Okay. So there would be my attribute table. Too dark. Oh, of course. So I'd press tweak on that, and it would bring me up this. Now here, I'd be able to just click on that 80% and change it to, let's change it to 50 now. Alright, so that would be doing that. Alright, now I want to change that green up to 70. And change the blue to 40. Now, although I just made a sick, a sick looking green, I, that was basically changing my attribute. Now, this attribute could be, be tagged to multiple things. What if I wanted it tagged to my ride height? Well, I can do that too. So we drop the ride height down. Let's keep it at 10. So then the car doesn't start glitching up. And I can do it with window tint too. Now, although the numbers are backwards, so basically it would be 100% tint versus the 0% uh, tint, but that's. So well, let's bring it up to a 25%. Alright, pretty sick. Now, what if I also. I could also tag body kits to these attributes. And, the, and basically. <coughs> yes, technically, this is how tags work. They just change a tag and it'll be a different attribute. However, it would be very nice if this was made simplified to where we can create attributes rather than attributes being made. Like all this right here properties. That's an attribute. That's an attribute. That's an attribute. All this is attributes. But it'd be nice if I can make an entire attribute for the car rather than one thing like this. Actually, that brings me on to another topic I might want to do, but we'll get into that in another video. But, continue on with that, I'd be able to change within this thing right here. Let's do it. Okay. Body kit. Now, this wouldn't be something I could just hook up a wire to. I'd probably have to change it myself. And let's move it up one. Alright, so this would be body one. Now what if I wanted body two? So, that technically would be our first body kit option. Basically it would be that, probably the pink one, and this again. Alright, so body kit changed. So that would be our body two, and then body three. I know body three doesn't look as good, but you know what? But you'll get what I mean. Front, red. This is probably gonna be stock. 
or maybe pink. All right, and that gives us our rocket bunny kit. Alrighty, and we'll, la we'll finish this up with spoiler. Looks like I got at least five. Alrighty, and spoiler three. We can just quick change that to that. Spoiler three. So there we go, that changes some attributes. Alrighty. Now obviously this could be greatly simplified, because obviously they've already done it in the form of our sidebar here. But it'd be nice if we could all do it, just one thing here. Now, in order to do that, it would have to be each bit of this car is a separate piece of sheet metal. Alrighty. And there's a problem with that, <coughs> with this attribute thing. It's many different objects. So in order to do a block, you would have to knit this together. And that is something that I will get to in the next request video. Not a request. Um, no, what's the word I'm looking for? Wish list. The next wish list video, I could talk about knitting an object. Or, well, knitting surfaces, knitting an object. It worked perfectly. And you know what? If they did have it in Little Big Planet already, that thermostat would be tiny. Not, well, okay, the thermostat would be its normal size, but the heat of each car would be tiny. And we'll get to that in another video. So, I hope you liked my video about blocks and attributes. And if you did, please hit the like button and subscribe for more Little Big Planet car content. As Dreams comes out in the future, we'll definitely be on that and hopefully 3D print some things we make. So, we'll be then. See ya.